Bridget. So today we're going to be making some cost-effective cleaning products for your house. We're going to be making a sort of like citrus all-purpose kind of cleaner and then a peppermint bathroom cleaner. So if you'd like to learn a couple ways to make your own cleaning products to save a little money and have um, some green cleaning products, stick around and keep watching. Alright, so for this first citrus all-purpose cleaner, you're going to need an empty spray bottle. Uh, this is pretty big. You don't need one this big, but uh, you'll need an empty spray bottle. Some water because we're going to be using the Dr. Bronner's hemp soaps and these are highly concentrated soaps so anytime you use them you need to dilute them and especially for this cleaning product we're going to want to like dilute them. This is the unscented one but for the citrus cleaner Dr. Bronner's has a citrus soap if you'd like to use that. I'm just using the unscented one. You're going to need some orange oil and some white vinegar so let's get started. So we're going to need about an eighth a cup of the soap. I'm just going to eyeball it but for specific measurements you'll need an eighth of a cup of the unscented or citrus soap uh, a few drops of citrus oil and be careful because this will burn your skin so just be careful when you're using this really good though. <laughs> and then we'll need two tablespoons of white vinegar. Let's see if I can do this without a funnel guys. It's a valiant effort I feel like. A for effort. And then the wata. shake it up a little bit to make sure all the soap and oils are mixing and before you use it each time you're going to want to shake it just because the, the soap and the oil will tend to separate so just give it a good shake before you use it. And there you go guys, there is your all-purpose citrus cleaner. I use this in the kitchen, I'll use it just anywhere around the house, it's really great. It's also pretty good for spot cleaning floors if you have a small, like a tile kitchen or something, it's a really great cleaner for that as well. So now let's make our peppermint bathroom cleaner. So for the peppermint bathroom cleaner, you're going to need an empty spray bottle again. And then for this one, you're going to want the peppermint Dr. Browner soap, some white vinegar, um, some peppermint oil, some tea tree oil, and some water. So just like the citrus cleaner, we'll use an eighth a cup of the soap, and in this case I'm using peppermint. But you can also just use unscented because you have the peppermint oil and tea tree oil. You'll still get that peppermint kind of vibe. I honestly just really like the peppermint Dr. Bronner soap, so that's <laughs> up to you. And then our two tablespoons of white vinegar. And white vinegar is really great just for cleaning in general, like just dilute it a little bit and it's really great as a cleaner on its own. So. And it's pretty cheap. And then a few drops of peppermint oil. And again, be careful because you don't want to get this like directly on your skin, <laughs> at least not as this concentrated. of tea tree oil and I just get mine at Trader Joe's but they have them at like Whole Foods or Sprouts or any of those kinds of places. And then dilute with a big old cup of water. Give it a good shake. And there you go guys, you have a really great peppermint bathroom cleaner. It'll make your bathroom smell minty fresh and really clean. So I hope you guys enjoyed making these cleaning products with me. If you do end up making it, be sure to tag me on Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see new videos from me every Wednesday and Friday. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay bougie and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.